y'all it's actually yvette welcome back to my channel if you are new here please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're still trying to get those subscribers up baby you already know so today is december 31st 2020 it is about 11 p.m out here in california which means it is two o'clock 2 a.m january 1st 2021 already on the east coast so i'm here late ready for 2021 to roll this way on in because 2020 has just been a doozy for most of us in the entire world but definitely here in america because we have just had so much going on so i thought you know since i'm in la and in california especially la county we are taking these stay at home orders very seriously nothing is open no clubs are open no bars are open everything is closing early so you kind of have no choice but to be inside unless you are with other people you know i'm sure people will be gathering but i chose to stay inside this year because i do work part-time at a psychiatric hospital so i'm already at risk when i go into work thank god i only work every other weekend part-time so i'm not there daily but I feel that I'm already putting myself at risk. So there was no need to put myself at risk more. And plus I had already went to Atlanta during the summertime. So I think I have my little thrill, my little my little fun, but I am not trying to catch Corona. Um, I'm not trying to, trying to get that, you know what I'm saying? I don't need that on me. So I decided to stay home. So here I am dressed up, making a YouTube video an hour before. 2021 because what else can I do you feel me so I just wanted to come and make a quick video to mainly talk about random stuff and <laughs> about my goals for 2021 what I have accomplished in 2020 and to kind of give you guys an update on my dating life out here in LA and to let you know how it's been since the last time that I spoke to you okay so first let's just go ahead and get the 2020 2021 new year's resolution things out of the way i feel that i accomplished a lot in 2020 some things that i didn't even expect to accomplish um even though i did have it on my vision board last year and i am going to be making another one tonight as soon as i'm done with this video putting your goals in a visual way and writing them down i think helps a lot and i used to have my vision board on my wall since I have moved to my downtown apartment, I actually did not put it back on my wall, but literally I found it yesterday. And just looking at it and seeing how many things I actually accomplished, I was just amazed at myself and pretty proud of myself. And also I feel like when you make a vision board and there are some things on there that you don't end up accomplishing that year, maybe some goals you set out for yourself that you didn't get started or you did start and you didn't quite finish them all the way through, you kind of have a blueprint of where you want to move forward with in the next year. Setting goals are so important because it's kind of like having a guideline to life. And even though you may fall off of your path, things may happen, things may come, up, come your way that deter you from what your original plan was. But if you have a plan, you always have somewhere to go back to. I prefer that instead of being in a place where I'm just lost and I'm not not sure what next step I need to take. I encourage everyone to set goals for yourself, big, small, month from now, three months from now, a year from now, five years, 10 years, whatever it is, set goals for yourself, speak it out loud, manifest it, okay? I feel like I manifested this whole apartment. I manifested my whole life here in LA. I manifested the job that I have. I manifested it all and I never gave up on myself even if, you know, people may not have saw the vision, may not have seen the vision the way that I did. It's not for them to see because it's my vision, you know? what I'm saying God the universe mother earth whatever you believe <laughs> gave you a specific vision and you need to handle that see I'm talking with my hands so you know I'm serious some of the things that I want to do for 2021 is make more moolah you know we want that shmoneys we want the coins I'm trying to get in my bag you feel me so I want to make more money I'm going to continue to do that pay off debt because we're trying to be debt free because you know I want a Tesla you know one day I want a Tesla and I want like a Jeep or a Range Rover one day those are the two cars that I want to have so you gotta make sure that you got a debt your credit is right and all that I gotta you know you gotta get your money up another one is to get fit in a way that I'm comfortable with you know I don't feel like I need to have a six pack and abs and all that I don't really I don't even like that I don't like that 
So that's not even really my stilo. I just want to lose this quarantine weight that I have gained. And um, the 15 pounds that I already wanted to lose before I gained the quarantine weight, yeah, that. And then I have some other goals for myself to just like work on my outer appearance in different little things that I wanna do personally. So, you know, hopefully once those things come to fruition, I can make some videos about that. If you know, you know, if you can read between the lines, you can read between the lines. If not, then you'll see it when I'm doing it because I'm definitely manifesting that. I want to move forward with my career. I feel like I've made some good strides this year as far as my corporate life. And I want to move forward in my entrepreneurship as well as content creating, which is why, hello, I'm making this video. And also just, you know, really, dig into what my passion is. I have a lot of different passions and, and, and talents in a lot of different areas. It's okay to dibble and dabble and kind of figure out how I can make my talent and my passions make me money. We need to have the multiple streams of income, so I'm working on that. I also plan on going back to school next year to help with further my career. So, you know, your girl gonna be back with the books. You know, not so much. I do have a bachelor's. I do have a master's degree. I'm just going to get some certification so that I can finish out what I need for the state of California. And that is something else that I will be showing you guys more of when the time comes. I definitely want to travel more this year. I, I think everybody is going to be traveling as soon as we can because once something is taken away from you, you really start to understand the value of it. It's like being a little kid when you got a toy that you don't never play with and your little cousin or one of your little friends from school come over and they start playing with the toy and now you wanna play with the toy. You ain't been looking at that toy for six months, but now somebody else playing and you like, uh-uh, I wanna play with that toy. You know, you never miss what you've had until it's gone. So I can't wait to travel outside of the country domestically. I don't care where I go. I'm just ready to get the hell out of LA, okay? So I'm really looking forward to things reopening and LA getting back to what we know it as you know I'm ready for the parties again I'm ready to be able to mingle and meet people and go to different events I'm just ready for LA to be LA again because this is for the birds baby this is for the birds out of everything my biggest goal is to continue to level up mentally emotionally spiritually I already mentioned physically but definitely mentally emotionally and spiritually I have done a lot of inner work this year and I'm very proud of myself I've gotten rid of some bad habits I'm going to continue to work on getting rid of the rest of them because we all got them y'all feel me I know you do and it just feels really good to know that I can I can achieve anything that I want to and that I won't allow things to hold me back I am my biggest enemy. Most of us, we are our biggest enemy. So you have to make up in your mind that you won't be the person holding you back from your dreams. You can have whatever you want. I'm a firm believer in that. So I am no longer standing in my way. I'm kicking my ass to the curb and we're gonna get it together. So with that being said, those are my goals for 2021 and beyond because it doesn't stop year from year you're always changing you're always evolving or at least you should be or you should have a desire to do that all right so i wanted to talk about a few of the hot topics of this year just things that have been on my mind that have been going on in the world with miss rona and with the presidential election thank the lord who let me tell you something these past four years that we had with potus i i Take me to the king. That's how I feel. I, we give it to you, Lord. We give it to you. You know what I'm saying? We give it to you. That's why I gotta go back to my room. So we give that to you. I'm glad that we're moving forward in a positive way. Shout out Kamala. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, black woman up in the White House, you know. So y'all already know what's coming. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the future, cause if it happens the way that I think it's gonna happen, then Kamala gonna she gonna she gonna have that role in about by eight years. She's gonna have that role. I can't wait until I have kids so that I can tell them that I not only voted for the first black president, but the first black vice president, which was a black female. I'm a strong black woman. So when I have a daughter, I can't wait to tell her that. But okay, so let's get into this tea about the dating and my dating life here in LA. I have to say that it's been it's been okay. I don't feel like much has been popping off for me. Um, mainly because, you know, I'm really wishy-washy with the way that I use these apps, y'all. I'm real, I'm real wishy-washy with it. Some days I'm on it all the time, some days I'm not. Um, I'm unmatching people for 
the littlest thing. It's up and down, you know? I have been having some really nice conversations with a few gentlemen on the apps. Um, I have made a friend with one of the guys I went on a date with. He's been really cool. We've actually hung out a handful of times. He's really nice, really cool. A gentleman, all of that. And I think I really needed that. I really needed to see that, you know, the things that I was asking for previously um, in my relationship, it wasn't too much. It's just that everybody is not talking the importance of treating a lady a certain way. Everybody doesn't. Everybody isn't raised that way. But I will say that if it is important to you, whether or not you were taught that by your mom or your dad, you're gonna make it a point to learn those things. Message! I'm really hopeful for 2021 in my dating life. So, you know, I feel like some things will start popping off. I'm not too much focused on it right now, but I do put myself out there so that I am getting my feet wet because 2021, I plan on going a little bit harder with it. And I think once everything opens back up, then it'll really start popping off because I'll be going places and then I can actually tell people, hey, yes, I'm open, you can have my number or whatever. You know, I won't be doing the whole, oh, we have a boyfriend thing because that ain't the case no more, baby. We out here, we single, we ready to mingle, okay? Sex in the city style, period. Period. So I do want to share a couple of things with you guys and show you what's been popping off on the dating apps. And some of the funny things I have seen, I screenshot stuff sometimes just because I feel like I need to share this with somebody. Somebody gotta see this because it is entertaining to me. So I know it's gonna be entertaining to y'all. You will see me looking down here at my computer because I'm recording from my phone and I have everything here available. So one of the first things I'm gonna share with you guys today is, so I'm on the app, just trying to see what's out there. And this guy on his profile is very fixated with making sure that you know that he is not interested in the lgbt community he wants straight women only so when these two things popped up i'm just like dude what happened to you first i'm like is he homophobic which he could be very much so but i'm not gonna jump to conclusions maybe he was dating somebody before and she cheated on him with the woman I don't know, maybe someone he used to like or used to date, he found out that they are now dating women. I don't know, but he is very fixated on the fact that he is not interested in the LGBTQ community. And I didn't think that he was attractive anyways, but definitely seeing that made him even less attractive to me. So I definitely had to swipe left, baby. Like, you gotta, you gotta get the X. You wanna play those games, okay? <laughs> so here's another thing. This guy, he comments on my pictures and he says, your lips. And it's kind of like what I told you guys last time about somebody making a comment about my breasts. It's just like, <laughs> okay. I can't help the fact that I have like perfect lips. Like, well, I think that they're perfect, but I can't help the fact that I have nice, full, supple lips. I don't understand what you need to comment on it for. And when you do that, I know you're thinking about doing something with my lips, like inappropriately. and. I don't know you like that, like, that's not cute. And I just kind of feel like it's like a 13 year old boy. That actually is immature to me. You never even want to get to see my lips if that's the first thing that you say to me. So you basically just talked yourself out of an opportunity and he was actually cute. So he had to get the X. <laughs> In my previous video about dating, I mentioned that one of the reasons why I really liked the Hinge app is because there are different prompts where you can answer questions and kind of show off your personality and it helps you to get to know someone. And this guy here just decided that he didn't want to answer any of the questions and he made it very clear. So he basically answered three questions talking about how he didn't want to answer the questions and that the questions were stupid. <laughs> okay. So I just didn't know if that was his sense of humor or what, but if it was his sense of humor, number one, those jokes, they weren't funny, they didn't fly. And number two, why waste your time doing that? I don't get it, just answer the question. And in his pictures, he does look kind of mean, so he kind of looks like, he kind of looks like an asshole to be completely honest. Yeah, I just thought that that was pretty lame. <laughs> and remember when I told y'all how I don't like to be on the BOK app because it's a certain demographic of guys that are on there. That's the word I'm gonna use, demographic. One of them made their way over the hinge. So you see this guy, you know, I blurred out his face. I'm gonna wanna know who he is. And he is standing on top of his car. He's standing on top of his car, he has somebody take a picture of that because he wants y'all to know that he balling or whatever. So that, I don't like that. I don't like that. 
So before I even actually looked at his actual height, I could see that he wasn't that tall from him standing on top of that car. <laughs> so he shouldn't have did that. <laughs> and again, guys, when I talk about the height, this is just my preference, but in my last video, I said it, I'll say it again here. I've dated short guys before. So I be talking all that, but if I love a guy and I like his personality, he treats me like a queen and he got everything that I want and I need, I'm not gonna trip if he's under six feet. Do I want him to be shorter than me? No. Would I date him if he's like 5'10", 5 5'11"? 5 yeah. You know, this guy gets an A plus for honesty because I feel like honesty is the best policy. Put it on out there. Let us know what you're working with, what you want, what your intentions are up front so that people know whether or not they want to waste their time or spend their time with you. Period. Period. So he basically says to this question, you should not go out with me if you are looking for a husband. So if you're looking for a husband, you don't want to be with him. He's not here for a long time. He's just here for a good time. And if you're down with it, you know what I'm saying? It might, it might, it might work. You know, sometimes you don't want a long time. Sometimes you just want a good time, you know? So the same guy also says that he has never been in a relationship. That's why he can't be nobody's husband because he ain't never been nobody's boyfriend yet. So, I mean, it makes sense to me, dude. You know, do you. Okay, and this guy, I blurred out his eyes, but I just wanted y'all to see this picture. I don't know what to make of that. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Why are you showing me your tongue? You could go a lot of different places with that as far as your mind. I'm scrolling down his profile, so when I first saw that picture, I'm just thinking, okay, maybe he's trying to be silly. I don't know why he's trying to do that, but maybe that's what he's trying to do, right? But then I scroll down and again, and this time he is in a suit, okay? You're taking a selfie. Looks like you're at work or something. Something very corporate is going on. You have your tongue out like that, sir. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Here we have another example of the BLK population invading Hinge. And this guy puts as his career job description that he is a retired trapper at the streets of Newark. Oh, ah, the ghetto! He is from Newark, New Jersey, and I am very inclined to believe him. If you ever heard of Newark, you know Newark is pretty hardcore. Um, it ain't nothing to play with. They be in the streets, they be in the streets. The ghetto, the ghetto. So I do believe that he's a retired trapper, just because he says he's from Newark. And then when I proceeded to look at the remainder of his pictures, it was confirmed for me that he definitely is probably a retired trapper. I'm glad he got out of that life, because you know, you're either going to be dead or in jail. So I'm glad that he got out of that life. If you are a retired trapper, um, I know that there's not like a 401k for that or a retirement plan for that. Maybe he got some money stash. I don't know. I don't need to know nothing about that because you know, there's statute of limitations. So I don't know how long you've been retired. We could be riding around in your car, the police pull up, and now we both going to jail for something that you did before you was retired. But because the statute of limitations haven't passed, sweetie, you can still get jammed up. And I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm going to sing like a birdie. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. I'm not a ride or die chick. I'm not going to jail for nobody, baby, okay? Y'all are going to jail, period! And also, you know, you see the picture here where he's looking down. I don't know what he's looking at, but yeah. Retired Trapper, for sure. <laughs> All right, so this is the other story that I wanted to share with you guys. This is actually what prompted me to go ahead and start making these videos, okay? So, meet this guy on Hinge. Very cute, very nice looking, tall, dark and handsome, dressed as nice, can spell, college educated, has a good career. He puts all of this information in his prompts. He answers the questions. All the things that will say, hey, he looks like he could be a keeper for now. Cause it's always for now until they prove that they could stay for a long minute. And I'm going to put some of our interactions, some of our messages up here so you guys can kind of see them. I don't really want to run through each one. So we start chatting back and forth, whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, he asked me what my experience has been like so far on the app. 
I basically tell him, you know, it's hit or miss. Ain't nothing really popping off for me right now. And he says the same. He did say that he recently started seeing someone or going out with someone from the app and that that person has been cool. At that moment, my antennas go up because if you just met somebody from the app that you've been going out with and you're still trying to talk to me, I just need to know, like, are you dating that person? If I just like to know up front, let me know. So I'm going to ask the question. Before, this is not something I may have done, but the person that I am today, yeah, you're gonna get these questions. I'm gonna ask these questions. I'm gonna speak my mind. That's just what it's gonna be, you know? And I'm gonna do it in a very polite way, but I'm gonna be open and direct about everything that's going on so that I am not hoodwinked and that the wool is not pulled over my eyes. I need to be able to see clearly. So you wanna date this person, but then you still wanna date other people. So I just asked him straight up. I said, oh, wow, wow. you must be like really financially secure to be able to date two women. Because trying to date multiple women is not a broke man's game. Okay, that's a, a rich man's game. If you're really trying to do it, you got to have some money to try to keep multiple women happy. Especially like where I'm at in my life now. I take care of myself. I do well for myself. You're going to have to meet me where I'm at if you want to date me, if you want to court me. Nothing enough to say like, period. period. So I had to let that be known straight up. Like you must be doing well financially to be able to date multiple women. I would like to see it. My exact words were, are you still dating this person? And then he says, yeah, we've been out a few times in the past couple of weeks, but she's polyamorous, so I'm still open to seeing what I like. And then I say, that seems expensive, having to cater to the needs of multiple women, unless you got it like that. And then he says, I got it for whoever I'm interested in. No need to worry about my pockets if I'm into you and it's mutually interesting, which I can respect. Then we move forward to talking. It was interesting because we were having like a little back and forth. I was kind of basically letting him know, I see you and I know what's up. So if you want to play this game, we can play, but we're going to have to play by my rules. Period. So then we go into talking about what we need, what we want to offer to someone, blah, 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 regular shit. Basically saying that, you know, he feels that women always want to just offer sex and don't want to give men affection and, and the things that they need. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? I don't know who y'all dating. Who y'all dating? Because Personally, me, I love to give affection. I love to try to be there emotionally for somebody. And this could just be me, the men that I was picking in the past. Like, a lot of y'all don't even want that. Y'all don't even know how to handle somebody being affectionate to you, wanting to kiss you, wanting to hold you, or someone asking you about your feelings and let's talk about how you feel, how your mind is working, what you're thinking, digging deeper. A lot of y'all don't even want that. Most of y'all just want sex. So I had to let him know that if you feel that that's what women are only offering is because y'all, that's what y'all make most important. If you feel like women are prioritizing sex, it's only because men prioritized it first. Message. He just brought up sex. I didn't bring up sex in the conversation. I changed the subject to start talking about something else. He goes back to the whole sex thing. Talks about how he's had plenty of sex, but he really wants more than that. Blah, 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 a whole bunch of BS that I don't know who falls for. Oh, Carissa, please. He asked me several times to do FaceTime. We were supposed to FaceTime, that never happened. He asked to take me out a smoothie. Our dates didn't match up. Um, and I just kind of felt like I'm not going out with you for a smoothie. We've been talking about different places to go for dinner, different places we like downtown. If you want to take me to dinner, we can go to dinner, but I'm not going out with you for a smoothie. Especially when you've already told me that you're dating somebody else, though. So, and you already done brought up sex, so I already know what this is. You think you're going to take me out for a smoothie? And then what that's supposed to like cultivate into us like having sex or something. You're talking all this about, oh my gosh, like all girls want to do is have sex. And I just want a woman who can be there for me emotionally, but then you can't even take me out to dinner. I don't like it. So the last straw was the last time that we were supposed to FaceTime, we ended up not FaceTiming. So he's like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and meet up. Um, let's go get like a donut or something. Cause I want to see if you fine or not. And then I just unmatched him, honey. It's so interesting to me how men will present themselves and basically let you know that they're full of shit. But then they're saying all of these things like women only want to lead with sex. You ain't got to worry about my money. I'm good. I really want a woman that wants to be there for me emotionally. But then you're dating somebody who's poly. So you still want to have more than one girl. And then you saying your money good. But then you want to take me out for a donut. I... Chile. <laughs> I just thought that that interaction was so interesting that I knew 
that I really needed to start sharing the stuff that I was seeing on these dating apps because again, it's entertainment to me. And so I know it's gonna be entertainment to y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't know if you can hear the fireworks going off. It is officially 12.08 a.m. January 1st, 2021. Blessings and peace and prosperity to everyone watching this video. I pray that your 2021 is full of success and that you reach all of the goals that you have for yourself. So you guys tell me what some of your goals are for 2021. You are single and you're dating please let me know how that's going i know it's been difficult for a lot of people to be single during the holidays especially during this time this is the first christmas that i've spent in the past five years by myself i've always been with my boyfriend and you know it was okay you know i think it was something that needed to happen it wasn't the easiest thing but i did it and i was positive throughout the whole thing i'm spending new year's eve alone again something that i usually do with him and it just really shows me that i'm going to be okay things are going to be fine so i just have a positive outlook for everything guys like i know i will find love love will find me and before anything i love myself that's why this hasn't been so uncomfortable because I have been working on my self-love journey and it feels good to be by myself. I deserve to be treated right and I deserve to be loved unconditionally and I'm ready to give that to someone else. And I think knowing that makes it even funnier today because I could just see through a lot of BS that I used to not be able to see through and it's funny to me now. Like I don't take it personally, it's funny. All of you guys who are single and spending your first holiday alone without your girlfriend or your boyfriend, I just wanna say sending love to you, things will get better, trust me. It's okay to be single during the holiday holidays like life goes on <laughs> especially if you have a great support system and you're surrounded by people who love you and it's gonna be okay don't worry about it please like comment and subscribe if you are new to my channel leave down your comments and questions down below i would love to interact with you guys what did you do for new year's eve how did you spend your holidays and if you are single what are you looking to improve in your dating life in 2021 and until next time guys stay fine